Hey, um, Frank. Just so have a little Franklin. Sorry? It's Franklin. Right, anyway. Uh, I, I've just got... Never call me that again. Could you move a little to the left, please? A bit more? A bit less. Okay, so introduce yourself. Well, I am Franklin Artemis Budd, and I am the writer, director, choreographer, artistic director, costume designer, and producer for Hair Gel, our original musical. And I'm June, I'm the other director. Co-director, June. And co-writer. Right. So, tell us about the show. Well, originally we were going to perform Hairspray as it's Franklin's favourite musical, but, but we, we couldn't, couldn't get the rights because they'd recently opened on the West End, and, well, you know, they can't have too much competition. But then we thought, why not write our own musical, something more contemporary, with original, hard-hitting stories? What's the plot, then? Well, it follows the discrimination normal people receive when pursuing their dreams. It follows our main character, Annie Harbour, who has to overcome the stigma of her weight and become a famous pop star. Oh, so it's similar to Hairspray? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> oh, you'll have to see it to understand. We didn't have that many people auditioning, but we're confident we brought together a strong, committed cast. We're very excited to work with them all. Very excited. <laughs> Okay, and we're just gonna bend our legs and lunge like this. Really feel that in your thigh and arms up, straight, and really stretch into that and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And now we're gonna do a simple swaying motion here, feeling it through your entire arm. Sound well in the shoulders. It's all about the shoulders. Feel yourself taking the space. Get a rhythm. Right. And make it. That's enough of that. Let's get rehearsing. But we haven't done any tension release. It'll be Christmas by the time you've done your tension release, June. These are your rehearsal schedules. Stick them to your fridge, tattoo them to your forehead. I do not care as long as you remember them. Now, for the next couple of months, this family will be like your second family. No. Scratch that. They'll be your first family. Show rule number one. Show family always comes first. So I should probably get on introducing you all. Now, this is Sandy. She's playing Annie Harbour, the overweight wannabe pop star. This is Tilly. She's playing Jenny Rannells, Annie Harbour's best friend. This is Samuel, an Italian. He's playing Leon Travis, the hunky presenter of the talent test. <laughs> Hiya. Sorry? And this is Hal. His mother was in the Circuit de Amusement in Francaise. He's playing Jonah Green, the local hottie. And this is, this is Tom. He's playing Danny Bell. Now. And uh, this is Charlotte. She's... Oh, she's chorus. <coughs> and of course, you all know June. <laughs> Let's get started. So, Franklin said your mum was in the circus? Yeah, for like a week in 96. Oh, that's not very long. No, I don't really know how he found out about that. Are you excited for the show? Yeah, I mean, I guess. My mum made me do it. Okay, so I'm also um, like So, to Tom and Sandy, can you go over there? Hal, can you go over there? And Charlotte and Paul, can you... Where's Paul? Well, if he's not here, then he's not in the number. Go on, over there. Theatre is all about being committed. You've got to be committed to your craft, you've got to be committed to your cast, and you've got to be committed to your creatives. 
the three C's of performing. So, do you do this a lot? Do what? Like, performing. Um, no, not really. I usually just... Okay, so the talent test is our first big chorus number. So energy needs to be high, singing needs to be loud, and it needs to be... good. So, what's it like teaching Franklin? Franklin is... Um, well, Franklin is a very dedicated student. Um, he's a very passionate leader, but he can often overshadow the other students. Do you have high hopes for the show? <laughs> we can make all of your dreams come true. You can enter the race for only one pound thirty. Forty. Thirty. I will. <laughs> The talent test. Welcome to the talent test. Welcome to the talent test. Hey, Welcome to the talent hey, test. One pound thirty two. Get ready to turn it on, though. Get ready to spin. Charlotte, it's the talent test. Welcome to the talent test. Hey, it's the talent test. Welcome to the talent test. Oh, Charlotte. Do you want to be in this show? Yeah. Well, it just sort of feels like you don't want to be here. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I, uh, I don't want excuses, Charlotte. I want results. I'm sorry. I'll try. Go back in then. You can audition, 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 you can audition. You can audition. Seven, eight, it's the talent test. Welcome to the talent test. Samuel, can we turn the hips down a little bit, please? Oh, yes, this is Pedro, not Chicago. Seasons could still come true. It's the talent test. So I've been here in England for around six months now, um, on exchange, uh, audition to try, you know, um, to get a real taste of English culture. How are you finding it? Very good fun. Yeah, I really like working with people. So, um, <laughs> yeah, very good fun. See you on Thursday, everybody. Bye. 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 Well, I think that went quite well. Yes, uh, very well. A couple of notes, however. Thomas is lacking energy in the first verse. Um, Hal doesn't seem to be able to read his script properly. Tilly's performing too big. Charlotte's foot is not pointed. Charlotte's flat in the second verse. Um, Charlotte's clearly out of breath by the end of the song. And we can't use the phones to play music because they can't seem to pick up the melody through the speakers. Well, it's uh, only the first rehearsal. I'm sure we can fix all that. And I can always ask Francesco about playing the music for the rehearsals. Yeah, yes, I suppose that could work. Um... Francesco's in my music class and he's an amazing pianist. Apparently he's been playing piano for like nine years. <gasps> so dedicated. So I'm just making a few last minute changes to the script, nothing massive, but just a couple of things we wanted to tweak after today's rehearsal. And I've also just updated the rehearsal schedules and I'm hoping to get them colour coded before four. Um, I'm a little bit worried about time, but I think if we all put our heads together and work hard, we can create something truly amazing. Um, so I've just, you know, been changing a couple of the uh, pieces of dialogue, making sure they weren't too clunky and that, and I'll just show you an example of a couple of things that I've been working on, so, um, oh, 